Thank you, delegates. Can I just acknowledge the terrific work that uh, our Shadow Minister Catherine King has done in holding this government to account for all of their cuts to health? She has been extraordinary going from corner to corner, from top to bottom of the country. You've done a remarkable job, Catherine, and this conference, I think, should congratulate you for that. I also want to acknowledge uh, the Assistant Shadow Minister for Mental Health, Deb O'Neill, uh, my colleague as uh, the Assistant Minister. Deb and I have been wandering Australia, going around talking to uh, people with lived experience when it comes to mental ill health, uh, but also talking to consumers and to providers right across the country uh, when it comes to mental health and the reforms that are needed in this country today. It's estimated that one in five Australians is currently uh, living with mental ill health. Uh, we need to do better to join up services in Australia, in our states and our territories, as well as at the uh, federal level. We know that Australians, uh, as we've removed stigma from some of the mild mental ill health disorders, particularly around anxiety and mild depression, are putting up their hands in record numbers saying they need support, and when they do, those services are simply not there and we need to do better, delegates. Indeed, last time there was a Labor government, we increased mental health funding by around 350%, a very significant investment, and it was reform that we did last time across the board. It was not piecemeal, ad hoc announcements that we have seen from this Liberal government. Labor will always do the hard work of reform, unlike the current government, which really has just been going around providing ad hoc funding to various organisations that are out in the media. Last time we were in government, we expanded the Headspace network significantly to around 90 centres in the country. There are now 110 Headspaces uh, looking after young Australians with mental ill health. But we need to do better right across the board, delegates. The government has also called a Productivity Commission inquiry into mental ill health. Uh, this inquiry was first proposed by the Chair of the Mental Health Commission, Alan Fells, more than 18 months ago. This government sat on that terms of reference and that advice for 18 months before it finally announced this Productivity Commission inquiry into mental ill health just prior to a federal election. Uh, we know we need a Labor government to do better when it comes to mental ill health services right across this country. It is only a Labor government that will be able to do that. Uh, Labor is the party of reform when it comes to mental health, and I commend this chapter to you, delegates. <laughs>